Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, we are having a special occasion. It's an amazing battlefield so far, as you can see. Um, our alliance, SPR, is with the help of the allies, Aka. We are pushing the two alliances together, uh, Beg and Shepasa, that's their name. Well, besides my alliance, everybody is having a lot of tier 5 players. So, as always, whenever I have a chance to showcase the amazing gameplay of Call of Dragons, uh, I'm always trying to do that, right? So far, uh, enemies are like in the choke point. They are defending their spire, I guess, level 3 spire. And also, they spawn the Thunder Rock. So, like, we are having a perfect view currently for the battlefield. As a free-to-play player, I'm like the reason of this kind of videos is always to try uh, to share my experiences, which I have gathered throughout the Call of Dragons. I have been playing this game for one year, and uh, actually every single season I have been playing against tier five players, which is really really rough uh, if you don't understand how you can play uh, against tier fives as a free-to-play player. Uh, I guess we, like, I'm recording this video in a perfect moment uh, because uh, uh, Aka's tier 5 players are pushing back uh, level 3 spire. Like, meanwhile, this is the spire's range. Whoever will be around this red circle means that, uh, like, you are taking a huge amount of damage, right? So, like, this is a perfect moment. We're gonna, like, watch until my legions will be near the battlefield how hard it is to actually push uh, the level 3 pass because yeah like aka is for example pushing it pretty well but they are taking a huge amount of damage uh, the enemies all you all they need to do is to stick together right now to wait for some time until the spire will be dealing enough damage uh, and like until all of that is happening my legions are finally near uh, the fighting space and like slowly I will try my best to join the uh, legions which are fighting on the battlefield. Uh, as always main idea whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players is to not get targeted. Uh, unfortunately my hospital is really really full currently and it's really really hard for me to send every single legion uh, to the battlefield but one by one i will try my best to like at least show you guys this amazing gameplay which i'm currently watching uh it's pretty epic like uh, they don't care about spire they don't care about behemoth they are just gathering and pushing with whatever they have right i will try my best to be there as soon as possible and let's see with this limited amount of uh, units which i have currently uh, how much uh, merits we are going to get out of this huge fight so far we are pushing uh, them really really well uh, this is the main battlefield currently they are pushed back to the maximum and they are trying to defend let's take the attention to the uh, most important the idea of how to perform uh, whenever you are a tier 5 tier 4 player and you are fighting against tier 5s uh, like main idea is to not get targeted let's say you are for example it's really hard for you to manage to click uh, through the uh, like enemies you can just zoom out and it will be much easier for you to click on the icons and you can actually see who you are attacking right sometimes it's really really rough uh, for like any kind of uh, like legion tier 5 tier 4 doesn't really matter to do something in this kind of wars because it's like almost impossible to click on the enemies uh, simply because there are like too much uh, legions around the battlefield and too much um, effects of artifacts and it's really really hard to understand what you are clicking and like one click might uh, make your whole uh, like legion die especially if you are fighting against tier 5 players I'm falling back because, uh, well, the main push uh, broke down and Spire is actually dealing a lot of damage. Uh, that's why it's, mu it's much better to fight uh, like with your 
uh, alliance members. That's the best way of generating uh, merits in this game, in my opinion. Like, try to be cohesive, try to play around with your ally members. Uh, because if everybody is going to target you, that means like you are uh, like having a lot of troops in your hospital, which currently I have right now, right? Like I will show you the, my hospital and you will understand what I'm talking about. These two legions have been the maximum I could send uh, for this fight, but so far, as you can see, uh, we had a zero targets. Nobody has targeted my legion and we are full, right? And we are fighting against tier 5 players, like Guerrero is tier 5, uh, which I know for sure. Like, it's much easier that whenever you can, like, understand who is tier 5 and who is not by their names, but whenever there is a new season starting and you don't know the people who are having uh, tier 5 uh, units and who does not by the names, it's getting pretty rough, right? Right now I will try my best to back off because as you saw we just got targeted, that's the main thing, you get targeted, you may move back. Now like as always, I always try to target uh, cavalry units, uh, especially in uh, wars like this, uh, like this, whenever there's like a lot of people around the battlefield. Uh, simply because cavalries are one of the weakest region types um, in the game currently. Uh, that's the main idea because like from the range they can touch you and if they can touch you they are uh, going to die pretty soon uh, so far we are doing pretty fine for the free to play player mark i'm having like almost 4 million merits in this season which is the highest that i have ever gotten and right now I'm targeting my, the cavalry units and of course soon I will be using my artifact in a great way, right? Like, uh, artifact usage is like pretty hard uh, sometimes, uh, like especially in the huge wars, right? Because like whenever you are using your artifact manually, it means that you are losing control of your legions. And generally, that's the moment when you are receiving huge amount of damage to yourself. I'm not sure why nobody is hitting this guy, because he just overstep. Um, and as a free-to-play player, you like to hit the overstep uh, legions, because like they have no idea what's happening, and that's the correct moment for you to deal some damage. Well, like all the damage we got for so far is through the counter-attack damage, uh, unfortunately, that's why I said it's pretty rough to fight against your 5 players, even if you, uh, if nobody has targeted you, like you are still going to receive some damage from the enemies. Again, cavalry unit uh, target, I'm pretty sure most of my allies are hitting this cavalry unit and he's going to die pretty soon. As I can see that enemy is moving up, I'm going to move back because my main aim is to stay alive. Uh, that's the only way how I can get merits out of this, this fight by staying alive because uh, in terms of strengths, like there is much more, uh, much more powerful people around the battlefield who will be dealing more pure damage. What I can do is to help them to focus in like in like any particular legion and like whenever my legions will be gone which means like uh, both of them will be died will be dead that will be the time whenever i will check uh, the merit score for my legions so far both of them are like half health uh, it's hard for me to hide behind my alliance members because we are not that much currently uh, and they are trying to push the main uh, battlefield size I'm not going to stand there uh, simply because like Spire is de like dealing a lot of damage for me. If I was a tier 5 player, I would 100% go there and try to do something, but it's pretty rough uh, currently uh, because yeah, Spire plus tier 5 players uh, plus like Behemoths, which they drop occasionally. Uh, it's not that easy for me, right? So let's try to prolong these two legions as much as possible because that's the way um, I'm trying to play uh, as a free-to-play player. Like I'm always trying to stay alive longer rather than just dealing pure amount, like most amount of damage as I possibly can. Uh, 
Uh, this guy uh, is kind of gifting us a lot of merits because he's doing a useless thing. We are too much right here. And I'm not sure why he's doing that. But I guess... Right, um, I will be using like almost perfect um, artifacts here. Which gonna give us additional boost to our merit score, which is great. Uh, it's amazing that the new edition like glory points so whenever you are fighting against somebody from a different region uh, merits give us a different score glory points and you need those points in order to have the signal points to unlock better rooms right better uh, talents for the season yet again this is the fight currently like small fight but you can see how how much of the a struggle it have been uh, to cross this spire because like too much damage right and too much resources for tier 5 players because it's not about like staying alive and dealing damage during this kind of wars it's also about your resources how much resources you have to fight for a long period of time uh, that's generally what happens uh, like that's what makes tier 5 players even stronger because they can fight longer they can use the resources for healing and like in general they of course has a, have a way more resources than free to play players right and whenever I have used my resources for healing uh, after that I had to farm for weeks in order for me to be able to like normalize the resource situation for myself let's try to hit this infantry simply because he is a low health uh, like troop uh, amount is pretty low and then we will be able to like try to attack some mages which are like much better target for me currently yeah they are moving forward and that's why we are moving back you always need to be looking at see the situation uh, in the battlefield how enemy is moving uh, if your guys are moving up, only that time is a perfect moment for you to move up, right? Because if you will be solo player uh, in the Alliance War situations, nothing good is going to happen with you, honestly. Right now I can see that I'm alone in this spot, that's why I'm not trying to show up, uh, because I'm not tier 5 players. player, if I will get uh, targeted, I'm done. Uh, in a matter of seconds or even like one big mirage orb is enough for my legions to be uh, on right. let's wait for a perfect moment sometimes the pauses during the battlefield is great for a uh, free to play player uh, as the player like me because I can actually see what's going on and how I can position myself so I will be able to deal more and more damage in the future Unfortunately, I got hit a little bit by the uh, artifact of that uh, player. So far, yeah, like I would highly prefer to uh, refill my legions if I was near uh, to my town, but I'm not that near. That's why I'm just, like, whenever I'm fighting, I only stop whenever both of my legions are, or all of my legions are dead. Right? Also, like, I will be highly. I will be really really glad if you just told me what's your ideas behind this type of content because in my opinion uh, combat gameplay is the best gameplay um, of the fights in any Kingdom Builder game uh, that's why I always like to share uh, the fights which is going on especially the fights which I'm uh, participating uh, that's much more like good looking right whenever you are watching somebody who is actually fighting and not commentating so like share your opinion how do you like this type of content um, do you enjoy it should i continue making this type of uh, videos like purely fighting videos which like uh, why not right that's the reason why i started making this type of content yeah this guy was waiting for me uh, that's why I did not move up for a moment, but like, let's wait, maybe my allies will look at that guy because like, he just moved too far. Uh, whenever you are getting targeted, it's a best move to fall back, uh, because maybe the enemy will follow you and your alliance members are going to react on that and uh, they will demolish the enemies. 
yeah, right now it's a perfect moment for me to try to be able to use the artifacts which I'm having, um, like ready, right? Both of them, uh, simply because we are pushing up and yep, that's a perfect moment for my legions to do something here, even though like we are really, really low health. I'm pretty sure we are going to do things here. Yeah, unfortunately, like, infantry is only viable option right now, but I want to charge my uh, artifacts, and, uh, like, that's the only way how I will be able to charge it. Uh, yeah, we are now moving back. Like, you you are watching your ally members, right? How you move around the battlefield. If they are moving up, you are going to move up. If they are standing still, you better stand still, because alone... You are nothing. Does not really matter if you are tier 5 player or a tier 4 player. If you are alone and you are trying to do things alone, nothing will happen, right? I guess this fight is the main fight for this video, which I right, I thought it would be way more, but like, what can I say, right? This fight has been amazing. I, I was able to use my artifact in a perfect way. Unfortunately, for some times, my uh, legions are not listening to me, which is, yeah, I guess some lags, uh, which might be normal for this game. Let's move up. My legions are, like, almost gone so far. And let's try to get as much merits as possible out of this big fight. Uh, simply because, like, even if my legion will die, I already gathered lot of merits for a free to play player and for two legions in my opinion which i have not checked so far now, after both of my legions will be empty empty i mean dead uh, that's the only time when i'm going to check the merits all right let's move up uh, we are like i'm not sure if i'm doing anything amazing here like what's most important is that we are alive uh, for a whole video, which I had the questions, like whenever I was thinking of uh, recording video about this fight, I thought I only have two legions, what if they will die super fast? But yeah, I guess my way of gameplay during the wars are pretty fine, just focus on staying alive and uh, you are going to have merits, that's the trick, I guess, which I'm doing always. Um, I don't care about being number one uh, in any metrics because I know it's almost impossible to be number one uh, in this game. Uh, like in any games, whenever like you can pay money to be stronger, it's really really hard for you to be number one. Now my main aim would be to use my artifact one more time, but that would be really really hard, like honestly. That's why, like, my main goal in these fights were to uh, not die super fast. But right now, like, it doesn't really matter. I will just try my best to uh, send my legions back home. And if I will be somehow able to use my artifact, why not? Yeah, it was kind of close, but uh, we finally, we are finally dead and we will be able to check uh, the merit score of these two legions, which fought pretty well uh, if you ask me uh, and like by the looks this place looks amazing like a bunch of uh, merits outside and finally i was able to get four million merits in this uh, season let's check the merit score uh, for both of the legions well 90,000 uh, and 22,000 uh, pretty fine actually like especially if i'm fighting against mainly tier 5 players and I'm a free to play player, that's a great amount of merits, honestly. Uh, but, like, most bad thing about all of these fights are that I have, like, almost 1 million severely wounded troops in my hospital, and I'm pretty sure I won't be able to uh, send any more legions to Etsy Battlefield, which is pretty sad. Uh, that's the thing I have been talking about uh, resources, about being able to send more legions for the fights. Uh, for free-to-play players, it's almost simply impossible because we just generally don't even have that much resources, and uh, like we can play until we can play. Right? That's the main point of the whole 
uh, wording which I was trying to say. Tell me what do you think about this type of content? Uh, do you like me to make more uh, like fighting gameplay videos? Like of course with the live streams, live streams are kind of different and videos are of course way different. So if you enjoy like fighting skirmish uh, videos, please share. I'm, I'm always curious about your opinions and your, your advice, advices because I'm always trying to listen and I'm always trying to get better, not only in games, but in terms of video making and all these stuff. Uh, yeah, so far, thanks for watching. I hope these kind of videos are going to help you to fight uh, in a better spots and get more merits. Uh, with my merit score, I have never dwelled for far for merits. These merits are, are I have got these only from fighting. Like generally you can see as a free to play player fighting against tier 5s you can have fun and you can get merits. So this is like I am the a person who you can believe because I am showing it by myself right. Uh, thanks for watching I hope you are enjoying the content I'm trying to make. Uh, thank you like if you do uh, press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to continue making these amazing videos for this amazing game. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. I'm gonna see you very very soon